An orphan, slave catchers, the Underground Railroad, and the oldest woman in Canada. So she died February 11, 1923, so this is the paper from that week. Listed as 117 years old when she died, Susanna Maxwell from Richmond Hill lived quite the life. Unlucky and lucky. Uh, she was an orphan really, really young. Uh, and so she was uh, put under the guardianship of a uh, white landowner in Pennsylvania. Until she became an adult when she was forced to flee to avoid kidnapping by slave catchers. Coming to Canada through the Underground Railroad, as many did during those years. Around 1850-51, uh, which is the passage of the slave, uh, fugitive slave law in the United States, which meant a lot of people came to Canada. And many of those escaping slavery did settle along Young Street, north of Toronto. At the same time, some people were being burned out of their homes and refused housing in other parts of Ontario. So it's not everywhere that it was equally hospitable. The other thing is uh, uh, jobs. Uh, there were a lot of mills along Young Street, Elgin Mills, etc. There was a series of mills which provided a lot of employment. And also, if you think about it, it's just a little bit further from the, the border. You know, if you think of the border as Lake Ontario and the, the, the ports, Toronto could be a scary place and there are incidents of people being kidnapped in Toronto. Susanna Maxwell would likely have also been one of those first black female business owners. She ran a laundry service with her daughter. Just north of Major Mackenzie along Young, lot number three there is where she lived in a brick tenement and ran her laundry business. It is shortly after the Civil War that we begin to see more female business owners in the census. A lot of black Canadians went to uh, fight in the Civil War. What it meant is that it created a lot of widows in the black community. Because they're widows and because they're spinster, we see them recorded as, as a black female business owner. That doesn't mean they didn't exist before. It's just that it would have been under the husband's uh, uh, company. Susanna Maxwell was a widow, doing what she needed to to support her family. She used to be able to earn what they call the York Shilling here in Richmond Hill, which is about 12 and a half cents a day. But she could earn up to 50 cents a day in Markham. So she started going the seven miles, walking the seven miles to Markham to make more money. At the time of her death, she had outlived her husband and all of her children. It is said she was so well regarded in the community that when her last daughter died, the town paid for the funeral, a total of $4. I think she just outlived her generation. Definitely a fascinating life of determination. To explore more of these stories, you can go to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. In Richmond Hill, Audra Brown, City News.